to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. And first time you tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout. So if you're a high performer, you're facing burnout, and you want to create a better life that's more fulfilling, this is where I can help you. So today's vlog is probably going to resonate with everybody out there, including me. And it's going to go like this. Today's topic is, we want better for others, but they don't see it. And it's correct relationships. So for myself, I have had tons of relationships, not tons, but a lot of relationships over my life. And my mom or someone saw something better or saw something that I didn't see. Then once the relationship was over with, I always say, ah, man, you know what? I just found out this. They'll say, well, I want to tell you, but I saw you were so much in love. Those out there, family members, friends, coworkers, or a job, that you want to help someone else out but they inherently do, do not see something better for themselves, especially relationships. Our relationships can provide a lot of value for that person. It can provide financial security, sex, intimacy, love, happiness, pleasure, whatever, whatever it may be, you name it, right? Take a step back. If they don't see something better for themselves, you cannot help them. Let's just face reality. You cannot help somebody until they will not help themselves because change comes within. Step back. What you can do is support that person regardless of your personal judgment or opinion about the relationship. Support the person on that job until they see something better. Because they can't. That's just the reality. They can't do better until they want to do better. Take a drug addict or alcoholic. Until they want to do better, quit smoking, quit drugs, quit alcohol, is when they actually get better. You can take them to rehab. You can lead them to a water drink, as horse that we do as a metaphor, lead a horse to water drink, but they don't want to drink, they will not drink. Support that person. Encourage them. Maybe you do something kind of smart, you leave a book for them. Send them a nice email. Let them know how much you love them. Because inherently, when you're going through a difficult relationship, when you can be verbally abused, or being abused, or mistreated in a way, you won't be able to see it. They can't, they're in a situation they cannot see. You see it because maybe you have more experience or maybe you had intuition, but they don't because that relationship provides them a pleasure. Through two relationships of mine, I was with them because they gave me great sex. I was with them because they had something I wanted. The second person had the attitude, the charisma, the beauty, the, the fake breasts, everything I always wanted to imagine. They had it and I couldn't get out of that relationship. My mom knew it, but I couldn't get out. Once I was ready to get out, I was ready to get out. Now, if you're listening to this video and your relationship, you cannot get out because you're afraid of, you won't find a pleasure. You're afraid of leaving your kids. You're afraid of, you won't be able to, to be able to survive. You're afraid, you're afraid. I want you to take out a piece of paper and write down your life because you've ever been through enough situations where you survive something. It could be you survive going to college broke. It can be you survive that job interview. Take a time place where you survive a trauma or something or where you overcame an adversity. Write it down. What steps in that adversity did you overcome? No, write them down. If you follow the same steps, you overcame that adversity after you wrote down whatever it was, all the steps you did, you can make it happen for yourself. There's nothing in life that's not achievable. There's nothing in life that you yourself can overcome. It's the fear I'm not, I'm not, the fear of lack, what stops you from overcoming whatever it is. It's that fear of not having that pleasure, having that security, but you will be okay. So one hand, a person can see something better, something better for the other person or you know, friends or family. They can't see it. You don't do anything. You support them. And if you're in a situation where you want to do better, you want to get out of a situation, write down a letter to yourself and where you have overcame a situation or trauma, what steps did you do, and apply those same steps again in that situation. You can make it. You will make it. You have all power you have inside you. And again, thanks for listening. So if you're a high performer facing burnout, you want to create a better life for yourself that's fun, feeling, enjoyment, this is where I can help because I'm a strategy coach. Again, thanks for listening. I'm always here for you.